Hi, right, we're just going to continue where the last video left off. Um, we were talking about sending artificial input, and we were just about to try it out with Notepad. So we said that um, this exclamation point here after the send is the same thing as Alt. We could also do, if we wanted to type it out, we could do this. So it's going to send Alt down just for this next stroke. So it's basically you hold down the Alt key, and then you press O, and then you let go of both of them, and then F is pressed, is how it's read. Uh, for clarity, we could also split it onto two lines. So we send this, and then we send F separately. And if we run this, well, we're going to open up our notepad window first, and then we're going to run it. What it should do, yeah, it opens the font window. And so once we're here, what, what does the down key do? I'm curious. Oh, the down key picks another font. So what if we press down once, and then we press enter? That'd give us a different font, wouldn't it? All right, so we're just going to type some text here. And then we're going to do another line. And we should be doing send input, but uh, for the sake of being brief, we're not going to. And then send enter. By the way, this could all be put on one send command. Um, it's just a little bit clearer if we separate it over multiple lines, I think. Okay, so we're going to run this. Oh, great, now we have a different font. Another font. And I've actually tried doing this manually, trying to find different fonts. You go through here, and you pick a font. Oh, maybe this sounds interesting, and you hit OK, and then it's not what you want. So this would be a way to do it quite a bit faster, I think. Um, it would make it go a little bit quicker, especially if you're looking through all the fonts, and you have a lot of them. Um, now we're going to demo click a little bit. Uh, no, we're not going to save that. We're going to go to Minesweeper, which might be my favorite game. Well, at least that comes with Windows. Um, and we're going to use a tool called the AutoIt 3 Window Spy. And uh, there's a few ways to get to it. You can right click on a running script. I have a running script down here. And you can click Window Spy. Or you can also find it in Auto Hotkey folder in the Start menu right here. All right, now what this does is it tells us a bunch of information about this active window. And one of the things it tells us is the coordinates of our mouse. We're looking at this inactive window number here. So if we put a cursor here, it says this, uh, we'll use this box here. It says it's 53, 132, right? So then we're gonna come back into here and we're going to say click 53, was it 152? It was close enough to that. And then we're going to save it. And we're going to open up Minesweeper. And we're just going to put our mouse up here, not where we're going to click. And when we run the script, it should, maybe, ah, there we go. It clicked there. So you can see how you could use this to, I don't know, just make a starting point. We could add a bunch of other things in there. We can make it random do all sorts of other things, and um, that's one way it could be used. Or even if you wanted to click using your keyboard, you could have your keyboard work on that somehow. Um, there's another thing I wanted to talk about. Let me just look through my notes over here. All right, send mode. There's a command called send mode. And you see we have our options here, since we're using Site for Auto Hotkey. Event, play, input, input, then play. So event is the default. We're going to do input. And so now, every time you type send, it automatically does send input, instead of the default send or send event. And um, that's pretty much it for, for sending keys. You probably also want to look at if we go into the documentation here, there is a key list, if I can find it. Um, ah, this is it. 
So once this loads, it's going to give us 